Laura ones, welcome back to another story time with Miss Heinz. So today's story is a very special story because, can I tell you a secret? I actually drew all the pictures and wrote all the words in this storybook. It is about a caterpillar. So the name of the book is called Going Through Changes, the Caterpillar's Story. And on the front of my book, I have a picture of two leaves, which is showing you that those caterpillars were chewing them up. So let's see what happens in this adventure. One fine day on the underside of a milkweed leaf, there was a cluster of eggs. Inside each egg was a very tiny caterpillar. As the sun rose high in the sky, the eggs began to hatch. Caterpillars began to wriggle free in search of fresh, juicy green leaves. From the eggs emerged three adventurous caterpillars, Lola, Caleb, and Philip. Can you see them down here? What color are they? You're right, they're blue. Their stomachs began to rumble at the sight of the green leaves. Let's go, shouted Caleb. Right behind you, chorus Lola and Philip. See, they're eating away. For the next 10 days, the caterpillars ate through all the leaves. They were no longer tiny caterpillars. So look at them, they're munching away on all of those leaves. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The caterpillars were so busy chomping away at the fresh juicy green leaves that they did not see the pesky sparrows swooping and soaring high in the sky. Suddenly, a shadow appeared over Lola and she froze in fear. Caleb and Philip scurried for shelter under the milkweed flowers. Get away, came a strange voice, causing everyone to freeze. Oh no, cried the sparrow. It's that scary monster. Fly away, fly away. So as we can see, Lola was still out on that leaf, but the, the two boys had gone under the milkweed flowers. A beautiful butterfly appeared, saving the three caterpillars in the nick of time. Have no fear, caterpillars, you are safe now. Thank you, they squeaked. So who saved them? What kind of animal is it? Great job, a butterfly. I think it's time for you to rest, said the butterfly as he sipped on the nectar. You have a long journey ahead. The caterpillars began to feel sleepy and slowly hung upside down to sleep. Slowly, they began to change until brown cocoons hung in their place hidden beneath the milkweed flowers the three caterpillars would spend the next seven days growing and changing do you see the cocoons on the seventh day the milkweed bush was full of life as three new butterflies emerged so what color is lola yes she's pink what color is Caleb? He's blue. What color is Philip? He's yellow. Great job. In the next few days, these tiny eggs will hatch. A new caterpillar adventure will begin. The end. So I hope that you enjoyed my story. I had so much fun putting it together and creating it. Maybe I can do one for the frogs. Do you think I should do a story for the frogs? 
let me know. See you next time.